Imagine a chain reaction that starts with one eruption in Indonesia, followed by another in Japan, then Alaska, California, and Chile, until dozens of volcanoes and fault zones around the Pacific are erupting at once. This is the Ring of Fire, a 40,000-kilometer belt that runs along the edges of the Pacific Plate. It contains about 75% of Earth's active volcanoes and is responsible for 90% of global earthquakes. But what if everything along this ring erupted in a coordinated, apocalyptic event? Let's start by understanding the scope. The Ring of Fire includes over 450 volcanoes and spans across countries like the United States, Mexico, Chile, Japan, the Philippines, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, and New Zealand. Some of the most infamous eruptions in history, Mount St. Helens, Krakatoa, Mount Fuji, have happened along this boundary. If the entire ring of fire erupted at once, here's what we'd face. 1. Immediate ash and lava events. The sky would darken across multiple continents. Volcanic ash plumes could reach the stratosphere, grounding air traffic globally. Cities like Tokyo, Seattle, and Santiago might be covered in layers of ash. Infrastructure would collapse under the weight, and toxic gases like sulfur dioxide would be released into the atmosphere. 2. Mega Earthquakes and Tsunamis With so many subduction zones along the Ring of Fire, massive earthquakes would follow. Some of these, like those off the coast of Japan, Alaska, and Chile, could exceed magnitude 9.0. The ocean would respond with multiple mega-tsunamis traveling thousands of kilometers. Coastal megacities could be destroyed within hours. 3. Climate Collapse Volcanic eruptions inject sulfur aerosols into the upper atmosphere. These particles reflect sunlight and cool the planet. If even a fraction of Ring of Fire volcanoes erupted, we could see a dramatic drop in global temperatures, a mini-volcanic winter. Crops would fail. Famine could spread. It would resemble what happened after the eruption of Tambora in 1815, which caused the year without a summer. 4. Air quality and mass evacuations. Fine ash particles can travel thousands of kilometers. Breathing them in causes respiratory problems. Combined with collapsing infrastructure and food shortages, mass evacuations from ash blanketed areas would begin. Emergency services would be overwhelmed. 5. Economic Meltdown The Pacific Rim contains some of the world's largest economies. Shutting down ports, airports, and power plants would cause a global supply chain collapse. Countries would have to shift to survival mode. Economies would crash. So while a simultaneous ring of fire eruption is extremely unlikely, cascading disasters, where one event triggers another in a neighboring region, are possible and historically documented. Why this matters? Understanding the worst-case scenario helps us prepare for more realistic ones. The interconnected nature of the Ring of Fire means that any major event in one region can send ripple effects, geological, economic, and humanitarian across the planet. By studying these systems, monitoring volcanic and seismic activity, and investing in early warning systems, we can reduce the damage of what we can't prevent. So the next time you hear about a volcanic eruption in Chile or an earthquake in Japan, Remember, they're not isolated events. They're part of a dynamic global system that is constantly reshaping the planet we live on.